welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Sonia, and I would love it if you could subscribe. And if you're already an existing subscriber, welcome back. So there's a couple of things I need to address before we start this video. Firstly, I have a new camera, so please forgive me if the settings might not be exact. I'm having a play with them. And also, I don't know how the sound quality is on this because I did used to have an external microphone, but there is no way for me to put it onto here, so I'm hoping the quality is okay, but please do again bear with me if not. The camera also has a flip screen, so I'm trying my hardest not to stare at that and stare straight at the camera. Today is going to be my get ready with me slash first impressions with the makeup that my sister bought me. What I will do up here is I will leave a link to unboxing this because this was a complete surprise. I didn't know any of the makeup my sister picked for me. One thing I will say is I did give her the money to do this. I'm now going to be trying the makeup. So this is what it looks like. I've got it in a separate makeup bag. And we're just going to make a start. So this was all purchased from Superdrug. And this was also from my sister as well. I got this for Christmas from her. So I'm going to put this on to, to get the hair out of my face. Okay, so that looks a little bit better now. The only thing I find with these is they move. And I don't know if it's just me. Um, how cute is this by the way <laughs> with a cute little bow we're gonna get started one thing i will say is there are a couple of things in here like the foundation that i think actually might be a little bit light for me but we will just make it work so we're just gonna get started i have my mirror here because i don't want to just be staring at the viewfinder i want to have my mirror here so starting off the first thing we are going to start with is primer and the primer that my sister chose me was the elf hydrating face primer I've not tried a lot of e.l.f. since they've kind of come back again because, oh, I want to say about seven years ago when they first kind of came here, I picked like a bunch of stuff up. That was when stuff was like £2, £3, which there is still some stuff like that on the website. But that's the first time I've tried really e.l.f. and I haven't tried anything since and obviously they've come back and stuff is so much different. So let's give this one a go i'm not sure what to expect with this but i'm glad it's hydrating because my sister knows i have super dry skin okay so this is what it looks like it feels quite silicone-y it does feel actually nice going on the face but i will say that this this is definitely silicone-y i wouldn't necessarily say hydrating like I like, when I say, when I think of a hydrating primer, I think something that literally feels like my skin has been drenched with water. It has given a little bit of smoothness to the skin and it does feel not bad. Okay, so first impressions on this. I was expecting this to be a little bit more hydrating, but I do actually think that it has smoothed out my skin, but this is silicone which I don't personally mind. I don't, I don't mind that with my primers but I know some people don't like that. But yeah, first impressions, I will definitely use it. It has, it's not like something that's completely wowed me, but I will definitely continue to keep using that. We're now gonna move on to foundation. And the foundation that my sister chose for me was this, and this is the Be By Superdrug Filter Finish Foundation. Now, as you can see from the color here, I think it's going to be a little too light for me. We're just going to have to make it work. When I first put this on my hand before, it was quite watery. I've shaken it really well and now it's still kind of watery, but it's, it's kind of holding itself in place. So let's just go ahead and put this on. So while I'm putting this on, I kind of just wanted to add a, something in here. So I know I don't do a lot of this content like this. And the reason is, is just because I do makeup the way that I do makeup. And I know there might be some stuff that I do that is wrong, <laughs> but it's the way that I do my makeup. And I am gonna try and do more of this type of content because I know a lot of people do like it. I think it's just, I need to build myself up to kind of get to the point where I feel comfortable with doing it. So this foundation isn't an awful color. It's not, um, I still wouldn't say it matches, but this matches a whole lot better than like, I used to have a Fenty foundation in 105. That made me look so ill. <laughs> Whereas this one, I don't know what it's looking like on the camera, but it isn't the right shade for me. But I could use this as a mixer, maybe. I'm getting a lot better at matching 
my face with foundation because before I never used to be very good at it. I just used to always go for the lightest one because I am super pale and pretty much that's always been what has been the case and I think my sister pretty much did the same thing with this. Um, but I've realised I'm actually, I have a cool toned skin so I usually try and go for the lightest one that is cool toned and that has worked pretty well for me. I've recently just bought a ordinary foundation and I got it in like the a cool term one and it works pretty well for my skin I feel like it matches it pretty well so my first impressions about this foundation I don't think it mixes very well with the hydrating primer because my skin I don't know if you can see if I come up a little bit closer it still just looks dry because I have really dry skin I need a primer that is like water drenched on my face and this just didn't kind of do that for me usually what I do is I mix a glowy primer with a primer like that one because I feel like it just adds a little bit more radiance to my skin. To me this kind of just feels a little matte on my skin which is not really a preference I like. We will be putting setting spray on though but I won't be filming that because it isn't, my sister didn't buy me it and I don't want to be including stuff in this video that was, that my sister bought me. So that is the foundation. Not my favourite. I feel like I need to try it with other ones and I also feel like this is going to be more of a mix of foundation because by itself, as you can see, it has made me look, I think, more pale than I already am, which is actually quite impressive. So, not my favourite, but it's not awful. It's just, it's more matte than what I think my dry skin likes. So, I don't really know whether it's filter finish for my skin anyway. Not overly wild by that, but I can make it work. Now we're gonna move on to eyes. So I'm going to start with the e.l.f. eye primer. I have been using this actually outside because I've been using it in my project pan because I did have a powder foundation. So I like to do that before. I have used this one before. I do think it's okay. I never, really, I never really found the need for eye primer before. Like I just used to think I don't need it. But I do actually think it really does help. I feel like it is ready to go with that. So, I mean, I feel like that is quite a good alternative. It's cheap and cheerful. And when I have been using it, I have found that my eyeshadow does blend better. The eyeshadow palette I'll be using is this one. So this is the Revolution Forever Dynamic in Allure and this is what it looks like. I don't know what look I'm going to go for yet. I feel like it's just going to be one of those things that I will just wing it. But I'm going to be setting the lid with this colour here. The result, it is quite powdery, this colour. Which to be fair, a lot of Revolution eyeshadows are quite powdery. Okay, that looks pretty good. I think I'm actually just going to be really boring today and just go for quite a neutral look. I don't usually do makeup on a week, like on a Sunday. I'm going to go in with this colour here on my crease. I do have to say my sister did a very good job with this palette because this palette is def definitely a palette I would use a lot. That blends really nice. Is what it looks like at the moment loving that color that is definitely a color i can see myself using quite a lot and i think i'm just gonna put shimmer color all over the lid i don't really feel like doing anything super crazy today that is what it looks like at the moment and then let's grab a brush that is clean <laughs> go with this one and i think i'm going to try this color here i don't i'm not sure what to expect with this so i'm kind of that's why i'm curious let's just see shall we Oh, that is pretty. That is really pretty. I don't know if you can see on here. But that is really pretty. I like that colour. It's not too in your face. It's just all this one. That one has barely any powder come off it as well. Oh, wow. This, I love this look. To me, this would, me, this would be like an everyday look that I would do. And I'm actually so impressed by that colour because usually with like shimmers, I get so much fallout, but I have the littlest bit of fallout, but nothing super crazy. So pretty. I love that. This palette has wowed me. I wasn't sure to begin with. Definitely a palette I could take somewhere with me and feel like I would be content with everything that I've got in here and be able to create a multitude of looks. I'm really impressed with this. 
I really am. So let's move on to concealer. And concealer, we have this one. So this is the Rimmel Match Perfection. So this is the concealer that was my sister's their choice, she said, because the two that she originally chose, like they couldn't get delivered to me. So I don't know really how I feel about like applicators like this, but let's just see. Okay, first off, I can just tell you right now, this color, <laughs> I wouldn't class this as porcelain. That to me is not porcelain. That is so orange. I don't know. Let's have a, a look what it's like when it's blended in. But to me, looking at that, that is not porcelain. I know my porcelain. That to me looks way more orange on my skin than it does in the tube. And this definitely isn't brightening. So this is supposedly a skin tone adapting concealer. At the minute it still looks pretty orange on my skin. <laughs> I wonder how long it actually takes to adapt. This is the Banish Signs of Fatigue and Illuminate the Eye Area. We'll give it a chance. I feel like I need to blend it in and see whether it actually does illuminate. But usually brightening relies on a much lighter concealer than your usual skin tone. Which as, as you can imagine I suffer with quite a lot because I am quite pale. So trying to find a concealer that is paler than my skin can, is challenging sometimes. I'm still not seeing it adapting. I'm still not seeing it adapting, but let's just keep going. So looking at it, it doesn't look too bad, but again, my skin, I think because of that foundation, it's just looking quite dry. Definitely needs that little bit of moisture, which I'll be giving it soon. Right, I don't know if you can see here, but it's not blending very well. I'm gonna be real on this channel with stuff like this. Like I need to be telling you, if something isn't working and I do actually think it's because the foundation was really dry that I think this is having difficulty blending I haven't had my makeup look like this in a while it's a shame but we're just gonna have to keep going I don't know I don't know I'm just gonna put a bit of powder just to make myself <laughs> more matte I'm gonna put my put a little bit of powder underneath my eye and this was the one that my sister got me when it comes to powders I find that a lot of powders are matte anyway. Just gonna put a little bit under my eye. I'm not putting any more on my face. This is translucent. I find that, I think that's really white. Not a lot of powder comes off it. I feel like I'm not, I can't really fairly judge this because like I said, my skin just looks really dry. I don't know how much you can see that on camera. You most probably can see it quite a lot actually. <sighs> yeah, I think I need to try this more just to see what I really do think but first impressions it has set my under eye okay next thing i'm gonna do is my bronzer so my sister did pick up this revolution pro 4k bronzer palette i really like these palettes and this is what it looks like so i think i'm gonna go in with this one here for my bronzer I know it looks a bit crazy now, but don't worry, we will be we will be blending it out with a powder brush. It reminds me quite a lot of the NYX one, in the sense of it's more, I would definitely say it's more red toned. Oh my god, on the camera it looks crazy. Hopefully we can try and make this look a little bit more better than what it already looks like on the camera. I feel like this video could become a disaster. I'm not careful. So So I always do this, I always take a big powder brush and I always blend anything because I like, I much prefer to have something that looks more subtle than something that is really in your face. Even though on the camera it looks, it looks so much different in real life than it looks on the camera. I feel like it looks more pronounced on the camera than it does in real life. The only thing that I find with palettes like this is because I am so fair there's quite a few of these that i might not be able to work with as like its intended purpose so like with the bronzer like to me i feel like this one which is the shade i used was quite dark for my skin so the other ones i feel like i'm gonna have to find another use for them because i don't think i'm gonna be able to wear them as a bronzer so even that one there which as you can see actually does look quite light as you saw on my skin i've had to blend that out quite a lot make it actually look kind of half decent so 
I will definitely play with that and I do think it does look like a nice bronzer and it has blended quite nicely into my skin so I do like those palettes though I do think they are nice I've got a highlight palette by Revolution Pro and I like that one okay so now we're going to move on to blush the blush I'm using is this one by Revlon and that is the colour because I can't say it because I will butcher it I'm just going to take a blush brush We'll take this one. I don't actually have a brush, a blush colour like this in my collection. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Pigmented. I will say <laughs> that is pretty pigmented. Try make myself not try make myself not look like a clown. <laughs> I feel like this is always what happens when I start to film videos like this. Like my makeup just just does not seem to go well every single time I do this. This video is going up. Nevertheless though, that blush is really pigmented and I feel like that's a lot more pigmented than what I'm used to because usually I feel like the blushes I have in my collection are quite forgiving. This one, I feel like maybe not so much, but I mean, I still, I still think it looks nice. I have a little bit of a shine and I think that's from the bronzer. But talking about shine, move on to the highlight and this is the highlight. I Heart Revolution Heartbreakers 1 and it looks like this. I think I'm going to go ahead and use the more icy side, I think. So I'm just a bit worried that this side might not work for me. I might maybe mix the two. Let's mix the two. I know I said I was going to go for one, but I've just mixed it in the middle. Oh, wow. That is a pretty highlight. So because I mixed the two, I feel like it definitely has more of a pinky tone. Wow, in the camera that is super crazy. It definitely has more of a pink tone, I would say. And again, I just blend it all together because I, I like it to look seamless and not like it's just one section, one section. And then one section. I like that actually. I think that is super pretty. I do really like that. I feel like that might be something I would reach for quite a lot if I'm looking for a blinding highlight. Wow. And I feel like it's not really accentuating anything either. I do feel, feel like my skin, like my pore area here, is not looking the best. And look at my look how much that foundation has already come away from my nose. And I haven't even touched my nose. I just don't think that that foundation is for me i just can't believe like how that's already off and i've not even like powdered my nose or anything yeah i don't think that foundation is for me okay so i'm just gonna go and quickly do my brows and then i will be back so i've just put a bit of brow gel in them because i didn't want to do anything super crazy so i'm gonna move on to putting some of the eyeshadow back on the under eye i'm just gonna use this color that i used for my crease just to put it under my eye Okay, so we have just finished that and I feel like my eyes look a little bit better now. And now I'm going to put some setting spray on, something hopefully to add a little bit of moisture and glow to my skin. Okay, so I feel like that's added a little bit of a glow and it hasn't made my skin look so powdery. It's still dry though, unfortunately, but it just doesn't look <laughs> as bad as what I did before. Now I'm going to put the mascara on so when i spoke to my sister about this mascara she mentioned this is actually the one that she does use so it has a primer on this end and then it has mascara on this end so it's, these aren't usually ones i would use but my sister loves this so we're going to give it a go i have really small lashes as well so we shall see I don't understand why we need lash primers, but I might eat my words when I just see what it does. So now we're going to put the mascara bit on. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I don't know if, if you can even tell a difference. <laughs> it's actually, this is actually quite a dry formula. I don't know why I was expecting it to be wet. Not as dry as the Charlotte Tilbury one though. The Pillow Talk one, that one was really dry. This is pretty. I don't know necessarily whether i am completely in love with it but it has it's given me natural lashes which i feel like for every day this would be really nice i don't see the need for the lash primer 
I guess that's just because I'm just so used to just using mascara red, but yeah, I will definitely use that. I feel like it's a mascara that I think would, for every day would actually look quite natural. And now I have a choice between three lipsticks. So we have this one. This is the e.l.f. War lipstick. And this one is in Sugar Plum. So we have this one. I don't feel like I want to wear that one today. So I don't think I will wear that one. We then have, I believe it's Rosetta from Rimmel. I think that's what the colour is. I'm quite tempted by this one. I feel like this is definitely a colour I use quite a lot. So I'm going to put that one there. And then we have, we have Drop of Sherry from Rimmel as well. Which again is definitely a colour I would wear a lot. Ooh, I feel like I want to go with this one today, which is the paler of colours. I just feel like this is quite a natural look, so I'm going to go with this. I have tried Rimmel's formula before, and I do like it. Okay, this, okay, this colour is like my lips but better. Really creamy. I do actually like Rimmel lipsticks. I do think they are creamy. Any bullet lipstick doesn't last a long time, though. So you do always have to reapply it. So I never take that into account because I don't think I've found a bullet lipstick that lasts so long. This is really creamy. Absolutely love the colour for every day. Love that. Okay, and that is the finished look that I did with the makeup that my sister bought me. So I'm just going to run through really quick what I think to each of the products. Starting off with the e.l.f. hydrating primer. So to me, I don't find this super hydrating. It does smooth out the skin, but I just don't feel like this was hydrating enough for when I used the foundation. Not overly impressed by the foundation. As you saw, it was already broken up on my nose. And I do find that it's just a tad bit too like matte for my skin. I'm not I'm not a huge fan of the foundation, unfortunately. The e.l.f. eye primer, really like this. I feel like it really helps with making my eyeshadow blend a lot better. So yeah, really happy with that. I feel like I know I like that one anyway, so that's good. The Revolution Forever Dynamic Allure Palette absolutely impressed by this i think this is going to be definitely a staple for me for every day absolutely love it and i'm really really impressed by this i didn't know what to expect but it is given such a beautiful natural shimmer to my eye i think it's beautiful love this palette so happy i've got it the concealer <laughs> I didn't see it really being a skin tone adapting concealer, as you could see when I was doing it. It was still orange on my face even when I was blending it in. I don't know, it's not, it doesn't look too bad, but I'm not overly impressed by this one either. I will definitely use it, I just don't think it's personally for me a concealer that I would buy again. Powder, I feel like I can't really give this a best opinion on it because, because my skin was so dry, I couldn't put it all over my skin. I could only put it under my under eyes, but again, because they were dry because of the foundation, I can't really give a fair opinion on this. A lot of the a lot of the powders I have are matte anyway, so I'm looking forward to trying this elsewhere with a foundation that I know isn't drying on my skin, so I can't really say too much about this one. The Revolution Pro 4K Bronzer Palette. So as you could see, I used the, uh, which I would deem the lightest shade in here and it was still quite dark for my skin. I mean, I feel like it doesn't look too bad now because I have blended it out. It did take a little bit longer to blend, but I will definitely use this. I just feel like the other ones I might not be able to get use of as a bronzer, but I did like this. I do think it was nice. It did have a lot of powder. I don't know if you can see there now the kind of difference between the two. I did like it. I just don't think for me palettes like this that are just solely like bronzer palettes or highlight palettes. I'm never going to be able to get use out of all of them as the intended purpose of, for example, like a bronzer because they're not going to have all of the shades that are going to match me as you can see. So... I don't know whether I would necessarily buy this one again, but I do think it is nice and I do think if you are looking for something that has a multitude of different colours, I do think that this is quite a good option and I do think this is about £8, so it's, it's a pretty decent price. The blush, 
super pigmented so you do have to be careful i haven't got as many blushes like this with this color but also with this pigmentation so i have to remember to be careful about it i do think it was a really nice blush i'm looking forward to trying that more this highlight i was super impressed by i do think it just added a really nice highlight and i feel like i'd reach for this one a bit when i want a highlight that's a bit more blinding so really really impressed by that the mascara I feel like it's more of a natural looking mascara looking here. It hasn't really lifted my lashes that much. I don't really feel like it's extended it either. So I just find this mascara okay. I'll definitely use it, but I don't see myself going out and repatching it. That's just my from my first impressions. I feel like I need to have a little bit more of a play. I don't use eyelash curlers, even though I feel like maybe if I did, this might actually look a bit better. And the lipstick, the one that I used, which... It says this here. That is the colour. I'm pretty sure it's Rosetta. Love this. I th it's like a My Lips But Better. Super creamy, comfortable. Really like Rimmel. So I have a feeling I'm going to like this one as well. The one thing I do need to try is this e.l.f. one. Because I haven't tried e.l.f. lipsticks in a long time. And last time I did try them, they were quite waxy. Remember this was going back about seven years. So I'm interested to see whether they are better now so that was my get ready with me using the makeup that my sister bought me i hope you enjoyed this if you did please give it a thumbs up it would mean the world to me if you could subscribe if you don't already and i would love to know below your thoughts and opinions have you tried any of these products and what do you think and until my next video thank you for coming by see you later